Madagascar is an African country with a wide range of natural resources. Like minerals, arable land, forests, fish and the country's beautiful landscapes. Madagascar's economy is highly dependent on the country's natural resources. Among the most important minerals in Madagascar are gold, manganese and copper. In this video we will show you the biggest current and future projects in Madagascar. But first share the video and subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments the projects that we did not mention. Let's start. It will be built on the Evandro River. It is located 40 kilometers from Talmasina off the eastern coast of Madagascar. The station has a capacity of 120 megawatts. The project includes the construction of electric power transmission lines, repairing roads and establishing infrastructure for neighboring villages. The project ensures optimal use of an important part of the country's wasted hydropower resources. To provide affordable energy to people in line with strategic objectives. The project will provide clean, sustainable, reliable and resilient energy to Madagascar and will promote the country's development. Madagascar has a huge potential for solar energy. The installation of these stations will play a major role in improving internet provision in the capital, Madagascar. Madagascar will develop three solar power plants with a total capacity of 11 megawatts in Antananarivo. The project aims to improve the quality of electricity provided to customers. Most importantly, reduce costs associated with electricity production. The project is scheduled for completion in 2022. It is planned to be on the River Wanf in the capital, Antananarivo. It will include the design, construction and operation of a 205 megawatt hydroelectric power plant. And the construction of a transmission line with a length of 110 kilometers for the site. Camp facilities building, 112 kilometers of trails. Which makes it benefit more than 210,000 people. After the project is completed, it will generate 1,570 gigawatt hours of renewable electricity annually. This will allow Madagascar to replace 90% of its generated heat energy. And expanding the energy structure to include more renewable energy sources. In addition, it will significantly reduce the average price of electricity for end users. During the concession period of 35 years, the greenhouse gas emissions will be 326,969 CO2. The Madagascar National Road Transformation Project 5A is located in the northeastern part of Madagascar. It connects the northern city of Apelop and the eastern coastal city of Fumarina. Its total length is about 151 kilometers. After completing the project, it will greatly enhance transportation and economic exchanges between the northern and eastern coasts, promote resource development along the way and tourism development. It is critical to further improve the planning of Madagascar's national highway network. It is a clean energy project. It represents a local priority for development. The project consists of two parts. Hydroelectric Power Station Access Project and Power Transmission and Transformation Line Project. It is built in EPC mode. The total installed capacity of the power plant is 56 megawatts. The estimated annual power generation capacity is 320 million kilowatt hour. The main content of the project includes the hub project, transmission lines and rural electrification in some areas along the route. After its completion, it can alleviate the problem of insufficient power supply in the country. The construction of the national backbone network with a voltage of 220 kilovolts continues. The project is expected to be completed in 2023. Madagascar is planning a cable transmission project where 274 cable car cabins will be built in Antananarivo, the capital of the East African country. 
The cable transport project involves the construction of two main cable car lines in the metropolitan municipality of Antananarivo. The first line called Red Line will connect Anasi and Batub, while the second line called Yellow Line will connect Anasi and Benidia. 274 cable car cabins, each with a capacity of 10 to 12 people, will operate on these lines, which will have eight stations. Upon completion of the project, approximately 28,000 to 38,000 passengers will be able to use this transportation system daily. The 2.60 km journey from Ampanidia to Anasi takes approximately 10 minutes. The 9.21 km journey from Anoshi to Ambatubi takes approximately 30 minutes. The project is expected to be completed in 2024. Madagascar is set to be home to wind power plants. Wind power plant, with up to 9 wind turbines. Operations are expected to start at the beginning of 2022 and the end of 2022, respectively. The power stations will also be equipped with a lithium-ion battery energy storage system. Up to 8.25 MW as backup capacity to ensure a stable and reliable network. This will contribute significantly to Rio Tinto's goal of being carbon neutral in its Madagascar operations by 2023. Desalination systems will be installed in Madagascar. To alleviate the lack of clean water in the arid regions of the Big Island, Mascara Renewable Water will install desalination systems. In partnership with the supplier of solar energy systems Mata Green Power which mainly operates in Madagascar, the desalination units will be connected to alternative sources of electricity around the clock. The goal of this other partnership is to spread desalination systems in several African countries. What do you think is the best project in Madagascar? Are there projects that we did not mention? Write it in the comments. Here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. So we can upload more mega projects.